Hey guys, this is Martin. I am the Hungarian ambassador of Oppo, and I'm conveniently also your best source for all infos about Oppo. And in this video, I'm excited. I'm excited because I finally got my hands on the Oppo Find 7, and I'm going to do a lot of comparison videos between these two phones, and I'm going to start off by feature focuses. So QHD is the buzzword. There's the LG G3, there's the Oppo Find 7, there's this weird version of the Galaxy S5, everything's going to be QHD soon. So we're going to take a look at how well the display performs compared to the Full HD display on the Find 7A, which I think is one of the best displays out there right now. So let's jump right into this. Taking a look at these two displays and their spec sheets, one would expect that the Find 7 and 7A differ the most in well, screen resolution, right? That's what the whole big thing is about. It's a QHD display, whereas this one's only a full HD display. But in my opinion, especially when you look at a picture like this, you should you should see that the big difference here is not necessarily screen resolution, but it's color. And uh, let's jump right into the colors here. So in this OS X Yosemite background picture, you can see that starting from the top, uh, we go from purple, where purples are kind of the same, and then already here, uh, yellow starts to creep into the picture in the Find uh, 7 screen, whereas in the Find 7a, it's 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 only later, and it, even then it's only a much less uh, strong yellow. And then you look at the sun's reflection on this stone here, and you can see that it's a properly punchy yellow right here. And here it's more of a whitish uh kind of blurred out yellow. So by the way, I'm taking this, I'm shooting this video on my Oppo N1, which uh, really is not supposed to do videos like this. And uh, color, color accuracy of the video itself is not the best, but uh, you can at least see the comparison. And then once we get over to this part, it should be easy to see that uh, it's somehow washed out and whitish here on the 7a, whereas it's more of a uh, full and rich uh, yellow here on the Find 7. Now, another thing that you can't see uh, because of the quality of the footage is that over the Find 7a screen, there's a slight white kind of haze. Uh, it's it's a kind of like it's kind of like the the uh, there's like a cloud of white light over it, uh, where, which whereas the Find 7 looks like it's printed. It, it is it is a much uh, more vivid experience. Uh, so in terms of colors and for checking pictures, I really, really enjoy the Find 7 a lot more than I do the Find 7a. Now, interestingly enough, when I got the phone, I actually enjoyed the Find 7a more than I did the Find 7. So I started using the Find 7 a couple of days ago, and when I got it, I moved over from, the, from this one, and... I didn't like my new phone too much and it was because of the screen and now let me show you why that was so let's move over to an LCD test and look at that those are the whites and let me tell you that in terms of whites the Find 7a is probably a lot closer to the truth than the Find 7 and uh, let me tell you another thing. This one's actually in real life a bit harsh white. So it's uh, it's kind of a harsh, uh, lifeless, colorless uh, white, which is, I guess, what, what a white is. But uh, this one's a more yellow. And um, in real life, actually, it is not as yellow as this. And then uh, let me demonstrate this to you first quickly. Uh, I have my HTC One M7 right here with me. And uh, turning it off by turning it on, uh, I should, yeah, I have my uh, LCD test here as well. And if you compare, by the way, this is supposed to be one of the most color accurate screens out there, right? As far as I know, the M7 was always famous for color accuracy and, and good screen. So if you compare those whites to this white, um, it seems like the M8, or I mean, the, I'm sorry, this is M7. Uh, the M7 is uh, even more yellow than the Find 7. So um, if if we put this in context, at least in this context, that one doesn't really seem that all that yellow after all. It's something that was hard to get used to me for uh, hard hard to get used to for me uh, when moving over from from something like this. But I've actually grown to like that one. It is a more easy to enjoy, more agreeable, and kind of more well, warm and welcoming uh, white, even though it's not as accurate as this one. 
So let's move over to blacks and so you can't really see anything on either of these phones right now. Let me pick them up and I'll tell you what's going on uh, in the meanwhile. So uh, I've, ta I've, I've taken both phones up and I'm looking at them at uh, different angles. So there, keep in mind that I'm looking at both phones at the same angle, but you're basically only seeing one of the two phones here. And that is a 7A. You can see a tiny bit of a screen bleed on the Find 7A maybe if you if your eyes are good enough. But you can definitely see that if you hold this phone at an angle, and that is any of those angles, it, there's this white haze over it. Whereas on the Find 7A, that's just a reflection of the Find. I mean, on the Find 7, there is none, none really. Uh, so there you have it. Blacks, especially from the sides, are uh, not exactly completely black uh, on the Find 7A, whereas on the Find 7, you probably can't even see it on video right now. Uh, as for resolution, I don't really have the camera to show you that. And I can, uh, and I think I will link a couple of uh, videos showing you what resolution can do for you in a screen like this. But uh, since I don't have the equipment for that, I just won't, I just won't demo it. Uh, I'll tell you that it does kind of matter uh, in the overall experience. So you didn't really see the pixels before, but when you see th things like thumbnails in, in chat, uh, which really are these tiny pictures, which have a lot of, which is which is basically like a miniature version of a big picture. So you have someone's portrait shrunk down to mini size. There, the resolution really really shines, in my opinion, because you can see a lot more there. Uh, it's it's a lot clearer. But overall, the resolution, I think it's it's nice. It's worth uh, spending a couple of I don't know forty fifty dollars for uh, for the upgrade. But it's not something that, in my opinion, by itself uh, would change would change the whole deal. However, I think the colors and uh, the overall overall nice feel that it's it's it all feels more like printed, whereas this one feels more more of a screen. Uh, therefore, I overall like the Find Seven screen a lot more than I like the Find Seven A. Even though I thought I would dislike this one at first. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have a lot more comparison videos and review videos and tutorials and everything coming up for both of these smartphones, actually. So uh, keep it tuned. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, follow me on Google+, and see you in the next video.